Genius Kids. Cultivating Love for Learning. Chapter 10 Sound Knowledge Acquisition Sound is a kind of sensation perceived by our brain and received or detected by our ears. Vibration is a mechanical phenomenon whereby oscillations occur about a central position and produce sound. Sound travels through air. Some sounds are pleasant to hear whereas others are classified as noise, which are unpleasant to hear. Discussion Jack, sound is of music. My voice I know everything so why should I read it? Susie, hi. Jack, the last chapter. Chapter was awesome. Jack, hello yes I know that was but what about sound? Susie, sound is produced by a guitar. Jack, are you kidding me? Susie, no Jack, it's true let us look upon the chapter. Sound Definition Sound is a kind of sensation perceived by our brain and received or detected by our ears. The unit of sound measurement is decibel, dB. Vibrating instruments produce sound. Vibration is a mechanical phenomenon whereby oscillations occur about a central position. For example, movement of a tuning fork, strings of violin, gong of electric bell, etc. Almost all musical instruments produce sound due to their vibrations. Musical instruments Musical instruments use vibrations of various kinds to produce sound. Depending on the kind of vibrations produced, they are of three types. 1. Stringed instruments. Examples are guitar, sitar, violin, etc. These instruments use metal wires for vibrations and hence for producing sound. The frequency of sound is varied by varying the length of wire. 2. Wind instruments. Examples are flute, shahnai, etc. These instruments use vibrations in air column to produce sound. These instruments have holes or openings through which the flow of air is controlled manually. This changes the length of the vibrating air column thereby producing varying sounds. 3. Percussion Instruments Examples include drum, tabla, bongo, etc. These instruments have a stretched skin whose vibrations produce sound. Loudness is increased by striking the skin harder and pitch is increased by stretching the skin more. Range of Loudness Range of Loudness, dB Feeling 1 to 10, just audible 10 to 30, very quiet 30 to 50, quiet 50 to 70, moderately loud 70 to 90, very loud 90 to 120 uncomfortable 120 to 180 painful sound produced by us human beings produce sound with the help of larynx or adam's apple or voice box voice box is present in the anterior neck and remains connected at one end to the pharynx and at the other end to the trachea or windpipe Larynx can manipulate the pitch and volume of sound produced. Phonation The process of sound production by quasi-periodic vibrations of the vocal cord or larynx or voice box is called as phonation. Larynx box consists of two vocal cord tissues. When we speak, the vocal cord tissues are pulled and thus a gap is created between them. As a result of this air passes through the space created into a windpipe. When air passes through the gap in between vocal cord tissues, it causes them to vibrate and vibrating vocal cords produce sound. Medium for sound propagation 
A. Sound propagation through air. Sound that we hear travels through air. In general, we can say that air is a medium for propagation of sound. Speed of sound in air is about 340 meters per second. B. Sound propagation through liquid. Sound travels much more faster in liquids than in air. One of the very simple activities that suggest that sound can travel in liquid is swimming under water. When we breathe out, water particles vibrate around us and these particles produce sound. Speed of sound in water is about 1450 meters per second. C. Sound propagation through solids. Sound movement is maximum in the case of solids because of close vicinity of the particles. For example, I think each of us must have experienced that when we put our head on the table we hear the sound in it. It is nothing but the vibrating particles of the solid that generate sound. D. Sound propagation through vacuum. Vacuum is the space or region without medium or air. Sound doesn't propagate through vacuum. If there is vacuum between source of sound and sound detector then sound does not travel in it or it cannot be heard. How we hear? Ear can detect the sound produced by any source that is within the audible frequency range, that is the frequency that we can hear. Though we can hear sound in the range of 20 to 20,000 Hz, we can produce sound within a range of only 60 to 13,000 Hz. The parts of human ear are the following. 1. Outer ear. It is of conical shape. It consists of ear canal that can transmit the incoming sound to the ear drum or middle ear. 2. Middle ear. It is also called as ear drum. Sound generates vibrations in the ear drum. 3. Inner ear. Vibrations of the ear drum are transmitted onto the hair like projections of nerve cells of inner ear. Nerve cell vibrations generate electrical signals perceived by brain that, in turn, generate sound. Sound loudness. Heavier sound is the louder one. Loudness is equal to amplitude of vibration, too. That means, larger the amplitude, heavier the sound will be. Smaller the amplitude, softer and gentle the sound will be. Loudness is proportional to the square of the amplitude. This means that if the amplitude is doubled, the loudness increases by four times. Heavier sound can be heard over longer distance. Critical thinking. On one square inch of human skin there are 20 million microscopic creatures. Critical thinking. Supersonic jets fly faster than sound. So you are able to hear them only after the jet passes you. Noise. Any unwanted or unpleasing sound is termed as noise. The noise if too loud can even cause anxiety stress, sleep disturbance, and damage temporary or permanent to our hearing. It is the loudness of the sound which decides whether the sound is pleasing or unpleasing. The sound that is too loud is termed as noise pollution. Even the music being played too loudly causes noise pollution. The loudness of the sound is measured in decibel, dB, sound pitch. Shrill voice is a pitched sound. It depends on frequency of vibrations and does not depend on amplitude of vibrations. High pitch sound is produced by high frequency sound and low pitch or shallow voice is produced by low frequency sound. Audible and inaudible sounds. Audible sounds. The sound that can be heard by us is known as audible sound. It is in the range of 20, 20,000 Hertz hurts for human beings. Inaudible sounds, the sounds that cannot be heard by us are known as inaudible sound. It is in the range of less than 20 hertz, called infrasonic sounds, or more than 20,000 hertz, called ultrasonic sounds, which cannot be heard by human ears.
Infrasonic waves can be detected by elephants, whales, etc. Earthquake sound is of this frequency only. Ultrasonic sounds are used in ultrasound, which is used for medical activities or treatment. Reflection and absorption of sound. As a sound wave reaches the end of its medium, it undergoes certain characteristic behaviors. Whether the end of the medium is marked by a wall, a closed tunnel, a hill or the interface with water, there is likely to be some absorption and some reflection or echo of the sound wave. Echo is the faint sound resulting from the original sound. When you speak loudly in front of a hill or a large building at some distance, Reflection of the sound occurs in the same way as the ball bounces from the wall. Surfaces reflect sound whether they are far or near. Then why do we hear an echo only when the surface is far away? This is because if the echo reaches our ears very quickly we are not able to distinguish it as a separate sound. In fact, Ears are able to distinguish the two sounds clearly only when the second sound is received after 1 by 10 th of a second or more from the first sound. Just like reflection sound also shows the property of absorption. As we speak sound always gets partly reflected and partly absorbed. Hard surfaces are better reflectors of sound while soft surfaces are better absorbers of sound. Sound absorbing material is used in walls of auditoriums to stop undue reflection and echo of sound. It is also common in voice recording studios to make them soundproof and cut down any sort of extra noise. Applications of Echo Echo is used to locate underwater objects. Doctors use echo to get a picture of the internal organs of the body. Bats use echoes to locate their prey. Quality of sound The quality of sound is determined by the frequencies present in it and their relative loudness. When a wire is struck in guitar, it produces a basic sound of certain frequency called the fundamental. While the mixture of sounds of other frequencies and varying loudness produced simultaneously is called harmonics. Continuous Review Sound is a kind of sensation perceived by our brain and received or detected by our ears. Vibration produces sound. Adam's apple or voice box in human is a sound producing organ. Ear is the sound detector organ. Sound can travel through air, liquids and solids. Sound loudness depends on amplitude of vibrations. Sound pitch depends on frequency of vibrations. An echo is a reflected sound. Musical instruments are of three types, stringed, wind, percussion. Soft surfaces are better absorbers while hard surfaces are better reflectors of sound. Like, share and subscribe.